Trust is important for high performing teams for many reasons. When team trust is high, teams share more information and knowledge. They engage in high quality problem solving and decision making, and they're more innovative and creative. When members um, trust their team and their team leader, they show greater commitment and engagement to the team. They're more proactive and put in more discretionary effort. And importantly, um, trust in the team has been associated with better team performance, um, including higher sales levels, um, high profits, um, as well as more client referrals. So in short, team trust has been associated with competitive advantage. Trust has these beneficial effects for a number of reasons. First of all, trust enables people to be open with each other and to take appropriate risks in the team. For example, imagine a team member who has an innovative but radical idea. If they trust the team, they'll feel comfortable to share the idea and let other team members consider and evaluate it. However, in the absence of trust, they may withhold this idea out of fear of being judged or ridiculed. They might even fear that a team member or team leader may steal the idea and take the credit without giving the due credit to the team member who had the original idea. Second, trust motivates members to invest and share resources in the team. A third reason is because trust enables team members to focus on what's most important, and that's getting the job done. So it enables them to focus on productive work activities rather than watching their back or checking up on others or feeling that they need to monitor others. So essentially it saves time and energy and enables the team to work more efficiently together. There are several ways that team leaders can build trust with their teams. Developing common values and goals with the team is a really important first step. So ensuring the expectations of the team are clear and individual team members know what they're expected to do, what the goals are for the team, as well as the values which are expected of them to be displayed in the team. So empowering is really important, involving team members in decisions, giving them freedom in their work. Coordinating is another important practice for building trust. So effectively coordinating the team's tasks and negotiating expectations and resources with external stakeholders, making sure the team has what it requires to do its job well. Coaching is important, developing team members' individual strengths, helping them to approach problems in new ways and facilitating their achievement of goals. Finally, it's really important for team members to just generally act in a trustworthy manner. And we know that trustworthiness has three key dimensions. First of all, demonstrating competence. So team members will expect the leader to be competent and have expertise in the areas that the team's relying on them for. Demonstrating integrity is also important. Leaders need to do what they say they're going to do. They need to follow through with commitments and promises. They need to be consistent and importantly, uphold commonly accepted principles, such as being honest and treating members fairly. Finally, demonstrating benevolence, showing genuine concern for team members beyond the actual work at hand, but for them as people, treating them fairly, being receptive and available when needed. Now research shows that these practices are important not only for building team members' trust in the leader, but also for just generally building trust amongst team members. So the more team members trust the leader, the more they're likely to trust each other as well.